In part one of the Bygones Weekend video, two main topics will be covered, the very oldest features of the Festiniog and the very latest development. Often overlooked by passengers is Harbour Station. It dates from the earliest days of the Festiniog Railway, having been built in 1864 and 65. It has of course been extensively renovated to suit its current needs. The first day of the gala was very wet. A ton of both, in 1918 Baldwin and rebuilt in the 1950s and 60s to become a 240 diesel mechanical, normally used on shunting work, but here seen arriving with a short passenger train. When the Festiniog Railway was first opened in 1836, all down trains were gravity worked. It's estimated that some of these early slate trains reached 40 miles an hour. The operation of gravity slate trains was reintroduced about 1986 as demonstrations of how slate trains used to be run. Now passing Boston Yards, the train is brought to a stop and then is propelled across the cob by a locomotive. October 2023, it wasn't any old locomotive, but none other than the brand new double fairy James Spooner II. The driver was John Wally, the Festiniog Railway Chief Mechanical Engineer. The original James Spooner locomotive was built by the Avonside Engine Company in 1872. It last ran in 1928 and was condemned in 1930. James Spooner the man was responsible for surveying the route taken by the Festiniog Railway. This was done in 1830. It's thought that it was James Spooner who designed the route of the Festiniog Railway so that it was suitable for working gravity trains. The new locomotive is painted in lined Victorian plum livery and carries a bell over each boiler, as did the original locomotive. Another train of slate wagons gets carefully underway, headed by double fairly Mervyn Embrys.
these are the brakesmen needed to control the speed of the descending train and the last man instructs when brakes are needed by blowing on a bugle although he seems to be enjoying a cup of tea at the start of the journey. This is a replica of the famous Spooner Boat, a private vehicle of the Spooner family who lived up the line from Port Maddock. Its original date of construction was probably before steam locomotives were first used in 1863. It ran by means of gravity and sail assistance to cross the cob. The original was destroyed in an accident in February 1886 when one of the Spooner sons disobeyed the operating rules. The replica was built in 2005. Finally, a look at the War Department Baldwin, holding a demonstration train of restored freight wagons, including a gunpowder wagon owned by Curtis and Harvey.